Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, really quick, I just wanted to say if you're new and you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Kim for the lovely PayPal donation. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much for the lovely compliment as well. I loved reading that. Um, and so today we are doing a swipe. Instead of using the house paint that I've been using for my previous swipes, um, I'm just doing, this is titanium white and water mix. I want the base layer to be nice and thin, so I'm really stretching it out. And let's see, so it's Amsterdam titanium white and water. And there's a blooper for you in three, two, one. That's always fun. <laughs> so anyway, I just didn't really feel like busting out the house paint. Um, I wanted to try to see if I can get a nice swipe uh, with my equivalent to Shelly Arts pouring medium. Not using the house paint. So I'm first laying down Arteza's Pearl Copper Gold. And I'll go over the pouring medium really quick after I'm done spreading out the colors. And the next color I'm using is Amsterdam's Van Dyke Brown. And then I also have uh, Liquitex Magenta and Amsterdam Greenish Blue. Mars Black by Arteza as well. Um, the pouring medium is three parts untinted base paint. Base C is what I use and one part polyurethane gloss varnish. Um, I will link below a mixing video and I will also list the ratios and the brands that I use in the description box below. Okay, so yes, I'm just layering down the paints in different ways, get different colors throughout. That's the magenta. Um, I'll be swiping over with white, which is a mix of Amsterdam's Titanium White and the Australian Flood Floetrol. If you um, don't have that in hand, I have been successful with getting good uh, lacing and cells using the Amsterdam Titanium White and Water Mix only. I've seen a few others using the same water and titanium white mix as well that have had success with it. Okay, so I'm just put that was the black, the Mars black. So this is what I'm swiping with. So I knew going into this that I wasn't going to be able to do much tilting um, based off of how thin I, how little of paint I put on the canvas, the white. So like when I'm using the house paint, it would be a lot of paint on the canvas, a th you know, big thick layer. And I would use that to kind of tilt around. So I wanted to see, and then I messed up that bottom corner there, which is why at the end of the video you'll see that I put some blooms on. Um, but I wanted to see how it would work with, you know, not tilting as much and then also without the house paint. And so I I think I speed it up times two here in a minute. So I'm just being careful not to press too hard because I, I'm right there near the canvas. And then always make sure you clean off after you've done a swipe because you don't want that paint getting mixed into your 
swiping color and then everything getting all out of whack. Okay, now here I sped it up to, um, two times. Um, I've had a few, I guess, since instead of the dead silence and, you know, I don't want to put the music on. So I've had a few people ask me, how did I end up in Ireland? So really quick, long story short, because this is a very long story. I will make it short, <laughs> pretty much. Um, my husband is from Ireland and we met and he moved out to Chicago with me for four years we had our son in Chicago and then um, we just decided that we wanted to head over here and try things out over here so that's that was almost six years ago almost um, so yes so since then we've had um, another little girl Layla we had her she was born in Ireland so yes, we're pretty settled over here at the minute. You never know where life will take you, but for now we are settled in Dublin. So that is how, or that is, yeah, how I ended up in Ireland. <laughs> so the reason I'm doing these blooms is because I'm, I obviously I couldn't tilt this. There just wasn't enough paint. Um, I liked how it looked there, just without the blooms. I thought it was nice and neat and everything. But I had a few spots that needed touched up. So I figured, you know what, let's just blow some blooms. So it kind of reminds me of those um, swipes with the bloom smash that were kind of hot um, or trending a few months back. So I just kind of randomly did a few of them going around the edge of the canvas and, you know, random spots. I just, I kind of felt like I was like doodling like on paper, just kind of messing and so, but it has kind of given me a few different ideas um, as far as to use the blooms and such and so and hopefully you guys like it. I'm happy with the end result it's different something different I know there's a lot of people that really like the blooms right after you blow them and they don't want to stretch them so this is another good way to have your blooms dry without stretching without having to stretch them because they're so there's like hardly any paint on that canvas right now compared to you know the amount <clears throat> excuse me the amount of paint there would be if you were blowing blooms with the you know the pillow paint underneath and I think I just kind of clipped out some bits just so it wasn't so boring for you guys but I think you kind of get the idea there. And when I come in for the close-up, now you see all the cells are there. They're gorgeous. They're just not as, as big as they would be if I were to um, stretch out the, paint, the painting. And the blooms look really nice. So it's different, but I think it's kind of cool. Again, I mean, the blooms are gorgeous, and you don't have to stretch them when you're doing this, so. But anyway, I will um, close out here before I get cut off. But thank you so much, you guys, again, for watching and all the lovely comments. I'm trying to get back to um, all the comments. I know I'm definitely behind completely behind 100% just you know 
it's been busy Christmas and everything all that stuff so I will try but I love reading them and I do read them and thank you so much you guys for leaving the comments so I will um talk to you guys later bye